Hey everyone, how's it going? Today we are going to be doing another Leak Code 75 study plan series problem. So we're still in the hash maps category. Um, our problem today is determine if two strings are close. So uh, yeah, let's read the instructions real quick. Two strings are considered close if you can attain one from the other using the following operations. Operation one, swap any two existing characters. For example, A, B, C, D, E goes to A, E, C, D, B. Operation two, transform every occurrence of one existing character into another existing character and do the same with all other characters. For example, A, A, C, A, B, B goes to B, B, C, B, A, A. All A's turn into B's and all B's turn into A's. You can use operations on either string as many times as necessary. Given two strings, word one and word two, return true if word one and word two are close and false otherwise. And then we have some examples right here. And our constraints are word one and word two contain only lowercase English letters. Um, and then uh, there's just some size constraints about how big word one length and word two length are going to be. Um, so um, in order to implement this, first we have to check for our edge case, right? So our edge case is going to be if word one and word two length are not the same. Um, if they're not the same, then they can't be close. So we're just gonna return false. So in order to do that, um, what we need to do is if word one length does not equal word two length, then we return false. All right. So that's just a simple edge case out of the way. Now, since this is a hash map problem, we're going to be using hash maps to solve this issue. So the first thing that we need to do is set up a word one map and a word two map. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to initialize these maps and then we're going to set up for loops, a for each loop specifically. And what it's going to do is it's going to take the character and then it's going to count its frequency. And if, and remember that hash maps can only contain unique characters, right? So if all the characters, um, all the, all the characters as keys in the hash map, if they all are equal to each other, word one hash map, and word two hash map, if they're equal to each other, then that means that we can do operation one because operation two cannot possibly be, um, operation one cannot possibly be true if there's different characters because if there's different characters then you wanna be able to swap them equally. So um, we have to check that first if we're going to move on to the next operation, operation two. So let's go ahead and implement that. So the first thing that we wanna do is um, initialize our maps. So. Um, like I said, as a key, we're going to have our character. And then um, as a value, we're going to have the frequency of the, um, the, basically the number of occurrences as the value for each character. So um, we can call this word one map. And then we just do new hash map. And then uh, why don't we just go ahead and copy this, paste this, and then call this word two. All right. And then, like I said, we need to have a for each loop. And we're gonna do that for uh, both word one and word two. It's a little bit tedious here, but it's, it's what we have to do if we're going to be using the solution for the hash maps. So um, in order to do that, we're just gonna do char C um, and then word one to char array. All right, and then um, this is a little bit trickier part, right? So word one map and then uh, we're going to use put, which allows us to put a key and value pair inside of the hash map. Okay, so the key, like I said, is going to be the character. And in the current iteration, that's going to be char C. So we're going to put C right here. And then now what we want to do is knowing that there might be duplicates um, of characters in each uh, word, we need to account for that, right? So if it already exists, then we need to increase the frequency by one. How do we do that? I'll show you. Word one map dot get or default, and then C comma zero as our parameter plus one. All right, so what this does is if the value exists, then it's gonna add one. Um, if it doesn't exist, then it's going to be C and then zero. Okay, so um, if you guys want more information on how to use this, um, refer to Java's documentation. 
just look up get or default Java method and you should be able to find more on there. All right, so now that we have that out of the way, we just wanna do this for word two. So copy and paste to make this quicker. All right. Awesome. Okay, so we've taken care of operation one, so we can move on to operation two. And that's basically seeing if uh, we can transform every occurrence of one existing character into another existing character and do the same with the other character. So in order to do this, we need to make sure that the frequencies are the same. Because if we have two A's and two B's, then we can swap those together. We know that that's possible. But if there's different frequencies, then it's not going to work. It's going to be false. So um, we need to set up something kind of similar to what we did with operation one, except we're going to use a list and then we're going to sort it and then we're going to basically um, sorry the list is going to be of the values of the hash map instead of the keys because right remember that we compare we're comparing the keys right here the key set um, and then now what we need to do is compare the values but first uh, I'm getting ahead of myself what we need to do is uh, compare um, the values for operation one, because we're not quite done yet. Um, we actually need to set up an if statement and if word map dot key set equals word two map dot key set, then we return false. Okay. So what this does is it compares a key set. Um, like I already explained earlier, if the characters um, match each other, then that means that they can pass operation one. If the characters don't match each other, then they can't pass operation two because we can't swap characters that don't exist. Okay, so now we're gonna move on to operation two. So like I said, it's gonna be a list and it's, we're going to be comparing the key set or the value set. And the value set is made up of integers. It's the frequencies, right? So um, we can just do word one frequency list equals new array list. And then we wanna um, initialize this with the word one map values. So in order to get the value set, all we have to do is word one map dot values. Okay. Now that we have this, let's go ahead and copy this. And we're going to do this for word two map values. All right. And then, like I said, um, let's go ahead and sort this because remember that um, the two words are not going to be the same, right? So if we're comparing to see if they're equal, then it's going to take account their place. So um, we need to be able to sort this list. Um, so in order to do that, we can use the built-in collections method, um, collection sort method. And this is going to be a log of n operation. So word one frequency list. All right. And then we're going to do this for word two frequency list. Okay. So we sorted the words. Now what we need to do is uh, if, if the frequencies are the same, that means that we can perform operation two. So we just do a, uh, Boolean in our return statement. So word one frequency list equals word two, oops, word two frequency list. All right. Like I said earlier, if they equal each other, that means that we can perform operation two. And since we already checked if we could perform operation one, that's going to be the solution for our problem. So let's go ahead and run. All right, as you can see, we got accepted for the first three um, cases. Awesome. Okay, so our uh, s submission was uh, accepted. And to go over the time and space complexity, the time complexity is going to be um, big O of log of n times n and the reason for that is that 
um, let's look at some of some of our operations that we're doing here. So um, we're iterating through the entire word one char array and the word two char array. So that means that um, that represents a uh, big O of n operation. So um, we also have a collections.sort. And as I mentioned, that's a log of n operation. So um, in order to uh, add those together, it's going to be log of n times n as our total time complexity for this problem. And then for the space complexity, it's going to be big O of n. And the reason why that is, is because we're using a uh, we're using maps and lists that depend on the input parameters word one and word two. Um, so there you have it. That's the solution for uh, this particular problem. Determine if two strings are close. Personally, I thought it's a little bit of a tedious um, a tedious problem, but it is something that could come up at an interview. Uh, looks like Google and Postmates do it, so um, it's it's always good to learn about hash maps. I hope that you found this video helpful. And if you did, please feel free to uh, like and then subscribe for more related content. And as always, if you have any comments or suggestions, please feel free to leave those in the comment section below. And I will see you in the next video.